Hey there, this is Polygon John, and I'm going to quickly show you how you can put image sequences into Windows Movie Maker. Because if you've been playing with image sequences, you probably know that a lot of the software that lets you take image sequences and make them a video format actually costs money. But Windows Movie Maker can do it for free. There is one limitation, and that is that the maximum frame rate you can get out of Windows Movie Maker for these is 30 frames per second. So let's go ahead and start here. So click in the white space to import something and then navigate to the folder where your image sequence is located. So I'm going to select the first frame of this, scroll down, hold down shift, and then select the last one that'll select everything. And then if you push open, it'll drop it in sequentially. So I'm going to take my audio now on my uh, second screen. I'm just going to drag it in. And you'll notice that the frames actually go on for much longer than the audio. And that's because they're currently at the wrong frame rate. They're currently playing seven seconds per frame. This needs to be running at 30 frames per second. So what you need to do is select the first frame, shift select the last frame, and then in the edit tab, take a look at duration. You can see there it's set to seven seconds per frame. And for 30 frames per second, this actually needs to be, uh, let's see, 0 0.033. And that's actually the fastest time you can put into here. That's why I said the maximum frame rate is 30 frames per second. And so to get the number, all you need to do is take one second divided by the frame rate, and that'll give you the number you need to plug into there. So let's take a look at this. Make sure it's playing right. All right, that looks pretty good. So that's how you get an image sequence working inside of Windows Movie Maker. And I'm going to do another video right after this where I'm going to be talking about the render settings in Movie Maker. So check that out if you want to. Thanks for watching. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get recording on that next video.